Hello everyone, this is TSET ABCD and welcome to another Katan video here on my channel. So playing my fourth placement game for this season. Here I am in the second position. I'm noticing 659 is a very strong first placement. Especially on this low wheat, low ore board, you grabbed pretty strong production. Based on that, now, I'm considering 8-5-10, I mean either one of the 8-5-10s. 6 9, two is on an option as well, but I still like 8-5-10 here. So just let's see what red and orange will go for. If I go for this 8-5-10, I think 8-3-4, the other 8-5-10 will be picked up. Maybe 692, 910, 11 or 6311 might be picked up. 834 is also an option. So yeah, there are a few choices here. 692 doesn't work well with 8510. I think I'll be okay if I get 834. I do get access to the brick port. This 8510 is pretty decent, especially with the access to the wood port and the 3 to 1 port, maybe the sheep port. I can even get a settlement on 910. Getting something like 6311 would be completely fine. The other 834 is also decent. I mean, my wheat production is a little lacking, but I have coordinated 8s and then maybe I can build towards the 3 to 1 port. And um, yeah, still I think that is a playable setup. So based on that, I think I'm just going to go for 834, uh, sorry, 8510 here. And I will point towards the wood port because going towards the ore port doesn't make any sense here on the slow ore board. Yeah. But now, Mm, yeah, I think, I mean, if I were red, I would pick 8-5-10 here. Because with 8-5-10, I can even go for something like 9-4-11 and then go towards the sheep port and the 3 to one port. It's quite a decent setup. And 8-5-10 also pairs well with 6-9-2 if uh, it is open. So, I mean, on the flip side, something like 6.3.11 isn't a bad choice either. Because if you go for 6.3.11 here, you are most likely going to get either the 8.5.10 or the 8.3.4. So you will have wood and brick production. You end up with no sheep though, I mean. I think that should be okay because here I'm considering like I will not be having a lot of wheat production but I do have sheep production so if red goes for 6311 or orange goes for 6311 we can share wheat for uh, we can trade wheat for sheep I'm also thinking if somebody goes for 6311, is 611, 12 an option that I should consider? Okay, goes for 834. But doesn't that mean, okay, this is surprising. Orange going for 834. I thought orange would consider 611, 12 or 6311. Because now I can go for 63. Actually, do I get 6311? I think I can get 6311. Also, red's rose placement downwards is a little confusing because now if red goes for 692, the brick port seems very, very strong. But with low wood production, getting to the brick port is not that easy either.
I mean something like 5, 4, 11 is also a choice that I can go for. Here Orange is surely trying to go for 9, 10 with the access to the overproduction but has a lot of wood which will be stuck in Orange's hand for quite some time. The thing is, if I leave 9, 4, 11 open for blue, blue seems to be unstoppable with double ore, double sheep and very strong wheat production. Yeah. Here I am still considering something like 5, 4, 11, because if I get 5, 4, 11, I can get a settlement on 6, 3, 11. Most likely, I mean, blue has to go for 9, 10, 11. And if I go for something like 9, 4, 11 here, my setup is very, very bad with no access to any 3 to 1 ports. Yeah, I don't think so. I can have a decent game with that setup. How about I go for something like um, 6, 3, 11, point to the right, try and get a settlement on 6, 11, 12. But still that doesn't seem to be quite strong. Yeah, I'll just go for a safer option. I do get wheat production and now my wood produ production is decent. I do produce all five resources. I will go towards the 3 to 1 port first. If a couple of 8s roll early on in the game, maybe I can even get to the 11, 12, sorry, 9, 12 uh, ore production. <clears throat> yeah, red wants, sorry, blue wants wheat, might target me here. I mean, the 8 brick is an easy block. Both red and I have a wheat in hand. Okay, targets red. I like that a little. This is able to pull a wheat. And uh, now that the brick is blocked, there is not a lot that I'll be able to do. Yeah, the thing is blue will immediately, okay, so orange is trying to get to, okay, and blue does not have a knight here. I mean, let's see if I get this trade. This will help me get to the ore tile or the ore production that I want. Yeah. And now once orange gets a settlement here, blue's setup is downgraded quite a bit because blue only will have, yeah, blue has strong ore wheat sheep, but then does not have anything, uh, no expansion spots. Wow, now orange kind of starts blocking me, which is, I would still say a little unfortunate. Let's see if I can get a one is to two here. Okay, I do get it, especially because I'm getting wood, which is considerably a rare resource for me. Yeah, but I am being targeted.
here again not much for me to do here Now I think we'll target the six wheat. Hopefully it doesn't steal from me because I still don't have, okay, solo blocks orange. I don't mind that at all. So now all I need is an eight to roll and I will have a decent set uh, settlement spot. So, I think um, red will agree with this trade. It isn't a bad trade at all for red. Let's see, red is thinking about it. If not, I think I'll just buy a dev card here to be on the safer side. I know I'm being targeted a little. Maybe I'm okay to offer ore. I mean, my ore production is still isn't the best. So let's see if red agrees to the non-block. Yeah, it doesn't agree. So, wow, I get a monopoly. So in hindsight, this was a good move. Yeah, I don't have any, okay, both blue and orange accepted. So red will be able to get two roads here. Okay, just gets a road settlement. I thought red would consider going towards the three to one port, but this is fine as well. So now I need a five to roll. Yeah, let's see. Because I'm offering a wheat, maybe red wants to accept it. Orange accepts it. And now blue accepts it. I still, I mean, yeah, it is a toss up between the two. But because blue already has a city, I think I'll be a little cautious right now. So luckily I don't have any cards. I think the five board is going to be targeted. And here, because I produce all five resources, I need to be a little cautious as to how I want to play my Monopoly. Here, I mean, I mean, I think this will be a little premature, but maybe I can give it a try. I don't think so anybody has two weeds to give away. Yeah. So I'm very close to getting a city. I think yeah, blue will get another city which was expected. And now do I buy another dev card? Doesn't seem to be a bad choice, but then I know blue will be buying a dev card every turn now. So then I need to focus on getting a city. Hopefully roll the seven. Okay, it doesn't roll a seven, but I mean, this is still fine. Wouldn't mind if uh, orange rolled the seven here. Because if orange rolls the seven, orange will lose out on a few cards. And I think orange will block the six weed, but it's... Yeah, I don't want our orange to roll a seven now. Now I'm thinking that 
orange will block the six wheat here okay so now monopoly on wheat is becoming a possibility Yes, surely monopoly on wheat is a big possibility now. So what do I want? I think another a six would be excellent. A four would be fine as well, but four will only hurt red. And I actually six would be perfect. Instead I roll a 12. Do I play a monopoly here? I will be getting at least five. Yeah, I think I'll be getting around five wheats. So let's see if I get any trades here. Maybe let's see if orange accepts a 1 is to 2. So yeah, I'll accept it and then play my monopoly. Yeah, so as expected, I do get 5 weeds here. So I can get a road settlement on the 3 to 1 port and a city this turn. I mean, let's see if either of these trades go through. I can, okay, orange accepts this. So now I can actually get a settlement on the 9 10 spot. which hurts orange orange's game quite a bit yeah now i need to get a city for sure so a 9 or 10 will give me the city that i'm looking for still a little scary i mean blue has four dev cards five dev cards here wow So let's see if I get this trade, I'll be getting a city. Do I do a two to one with blue? I don't think so. I mean, blue is already in a very strong position. I will be emptying my hand though. Yeah, it feels like I have to do it here. I could have been a little more cautious, but I don't think it is worth it. Yeah, and hopefully orange rolls a seven. So blue will be able to buy three dev cards this turn. Yeah, but I mean, because I'm on seven, I am being targeted here. Yeah, so blue will block, I think, the 8 break.
Yeah. Unfortunately, no sevens are rolled here. So yeah, not much that I can do. Hopefully, I think we desperately need a seven. Red does take an army, but um, yeah, red isn't even targeting blue, which is, to be honest, a little bit of, little worrisome. Yeah, the lack of sevens here is frustrating because blue is not being hurt at all and I am being targeted here quite a bit. If a six rolls, I think I'll just get a city. I mean, there is no choice, this is quite an obvious target. The only problem is I don't have any port, so I cannot do anything here. I can build a road, that is the best I can do here, so. Do I extend? I don't think so. I mean, even if I extend it, I don't think I'll be able to beat orange in the long run. Yeah, I don't think so. Anybody is going to trade with me. So let's see. Red is thinking about it. Getting a sheep out of it doesn't help me at all. So I'll just build a road and in my turn. Yeah, red is buying dev cards, which is a good thing. Because I want red to hold on to army. So, I mean, the scary part is blue can still have a monopoly, which will be quite difficult to deal with. Yeah, blue also gets a city here, will play their third knight. Yeah, I think your orange is set up actually left the board open quite a bit and then maybe I should have gone for 9, 4, 11 blocking all the sheep away from blue but then from there I do not see a path for victory, path to victory for myself because blue still gets something like 6, 3, 11 gets a settlement on the wheat production, on the wheat tile and has a decent game. Might target red here because red is the one buying dev cards. But yeah, I mean, I cannot say for sure. Yeah, steals my wheat, which is unfortunate. At the very least, I'll be able, okay. Ends their turn. Do I, is there a way I can win this game? Even if I get a city and a settlement, it puts only puts me only on nine points. But I mean, I don't think so. I can buy a dev card with over here. Get a city, get a settlement and end my turn. And here I have to be, okay, targets blue. I think that is the right thing to do because blue can win the game before I can do anything. Also, I'm a little surprised nobody is even fighting for road. Like red could have done that by now. I mean, blue accepts it.
hopefully orange rolls a seven because I don't want blue to end up with eight cards in hand because blue can get a city here. Blue has at least two or three VPs in hand. Hold the 10. So yeah, as expected, orange does take the longest road here. I'm no longer, wow, blue still does not playing a knight. And just wins the game there with four VPs, yeah. I end up on seven points. Yeah, no threes that game. I had a city on three. Sixes did roll quite a bit. Not a lot of eights, but yeah, I mean, in the end, I did go to nine points. I don't think so. I had a win in hand back then. It was quite close, but yeah, I mean, with Orange having four VPs, nothing could be done about it. Sorry, uh, Blue having four VPs there. And uh, yeah, so this was my fourth placement game. I end up in the second position. I still haven't won a game this season, at least uh, on the four player board. Mm -hmm. Taking a look at the leaderboard. Wow, 50 games already played by Jonah Man, which is really, really surprising. I mean, I have played only four games so far, 50 games, that feels quite a lot, but then it's not like only, only the number one player has done that. There are a few players with 42, 43 games as well already in this season, 59 for Andy, one, two, three with, sorry, one, two, four. Yeah, how, I mean, 54 games as well. How is this even possible? Anyway, uh, that's it for now. And see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.